Texas Tech's Road to Omaha, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Services. Welcome into KCBD Sports, I'm Dylan Villa. Texas Tech baseball out in Florida for the Gainesville Regional. Lubbock Cooper tries to head to state and the Lubbock Matadors are home. We'll have a look at those highlights and more in your weekend sports. Let's get right to it. We're going to start at the Gainesville Regional on Friday. Tech taking on UConn. Kevin Bazell starts off the Regional right with an RBI double in the first. Zach Vogeltick single to make it 3-0 in the fifth. And Mason Molina, you already know that kid is dominant on the mound, man. Ten strikeouts, two earned runs off of one hit and six innings of work. The win marks the seventh and Eight postseasons, the Red Raiders won an opening round game of an NCAA regional round under coach, head coach Tim Tadlock. Josh Sanders recorded his first save of the season, going 1-2-3 in the ninth to secure the 3-2 victory. The Red Raiders moved on to the winner's bracket and faced number two overall Florida on Saturday. Let's take a look at that game. We're here at the top of the fourth. The Gators would strike first. Rivera goes to right. Vogeltick is there for the out, but the sack fly gives the Gators the early 1-0 lead. Bottom of the fourth. We're in the same inning. It's Austin Green. Boom! He's got the hitter's count, and he gets the green light. He crushes this ball to give the Red Raiders a 2-1 lead. Bottom of the fifth we go. The graphics are barely on the screen, and Gavin Cash, the man of the hour, hits his 25th home run of the season. It's now 3-1. to one. Top of the sixth now, Jack Caglione ties the game up at three for Florida. It's his 29th home run of the season. That is impressive. Power out of the Gator over there. Now, bottom of the eighth, two outs, three to two count, a runner on base. Gavin Cash, he's got the ice in his veins. It's gone. Number 26 on the year puts Tech up five to three. And then in the top of the ninth, Kerlon grounds it into a fielder's choice that would bring in a run, but Tech beats number two Florida five to four, and they advance to their seventh straight regional final. They'll either face UConn or Florida again later today. Now we head to Lubbock Cooper trying to get the sweep against Argyle and head to state. Cutter Douglas is going to cut this one into left field. Tyler Spurial comes home and it's 1-0 Pirates. Then Josiah Gonzalez gets a hold of this one with a single up the middle. Timothy Haynes, he's running on home. Is he going to be safe? Let's find out. He is safe. That's a nice hustle there. It's 2-0, but here comes Argyle. They're now down 2-1 and this base hit into right ties the game up at 2. Then, later on, this little shallow base hit you're about to see right there gave Argyle the lead, and that's all they needed to push past Lubba Cooper in this one. The Eagles force a Game 3, winning 6-2. to two. Now let's find out who came out on top in Game 3. Lubba Cooper and Argyle. And a winner goes to state scenario. Loser is going to head home, sit on the couch. Bottom of the first, almost a repeat of Game 2. Cutter Douglas singles it into center. Tyler Spurrier comes on home to tie this game at 1. Pirates would lead 3-1 to one in the first, but in the eighth inning, it's now 4-3 to three when Parker Prater finds green grass in the outfield, bringing around Colton Rockmore. It's 5-3 to three Eagles, and then last chance for the Pirates. Bryce LeBlanc flies it into center, and the center field puts it away as the Eagles are now heading to state after a 5-3 to three win, and Leva Cooper unfortunately heads home after a phenomenal season. Well, the 2023 ASCO All-Star Game taking place Saturday from Pirate Stadium. Graduating seniors dropping up one last time to represent their respected high schools. Canyon quarterback Derek Clements here on the screen pass to Canyon's Hunter Cunningham. And look at the kid. He's agile and he's quick on his feet. He splits defenders and he's going, going, gone. He opens up the scoring for Team Blue here. Team Red. They're now threatening. It's fourth and three at the eight-yard line. Bubba Cooper's Noah Williams. He's going to try to pound it in there to get the first, but he's short of the sticks, and it results in a turnover on down. Seven-nothing game at half, second half. Get ready for this highlight reel. Catch. Noah Williams throws it to Ryland McCormick out of Seminole. What an adjustment for the touchdown. That put Team Red on the board, but Team Blue is going to get the win here 13 to 6. The game was called due to lightning. It's the lowest scoring final in the 18 year history of the ASCO All-Star game. And lastly, the Lubbock Matadors back at home taking on the fourth ward for Caros and they strike first as Marcus Korkstad scores his second penalty kick on the year. It's 1-0. Less than five minutes later, you could have gone to Whataburger and you would be back and another goal would have scored because Ethan Gila McNeil scores it. It's 2-0. Second half just underway when Aaron Asmoa rockets this one to the back of the net for the goal. All Matadors here at home as they get the win 3-1. to one. 
That's going to do for sports. Stay with us. We'll be right back.